Hello and welcome to this Beehive landing page video where I'm going to be showing you how to edit your landing page to help increase your conversions and of course utilize a lot of the features that are in the editor. If you'd like to follow along or you haven't gotten to test out Beehive, I will leave my link down below where they come with a free trial. Should you want to upgrade in the future, I will be putting a coupon code down there. So if you want to save some money, check that out in the description as well. So how you get to where I am is that when you're on the main dashboard, there's going to be like a settings section on the bottom there. Once you click that, what you want to do is go to website, which is where I am now and from here simply click on the pages tab or link right here now if you scroll down you're going to see we have a landing page we have a home page we have an upgrade page and other pages we're going to just be going with the landing page right here so let's click on the design landing page if you want to edit the meta title or meta description you can do those there as well but let's go with the design aspects all right and as you can see i love the fact that it's just so simple i can't tell you how many squeeze pages I've created in my online marketing career. Most of them are very similar to this. You know, usually it's going to be some type of like benefit, but when it's just signing up for a newsletter, you know, it's going to be pretty simple to do. If you scroll down, there's going to be some other sections, but we'll get to that. So starting with the top at the left, let's click on this arrow or carrot for main section. So we have the full height enabled. So it says by default, we stretch the top section to fill the full height of the screen. If you want to disable this or other sections can appear at the bottom of the screen, disable the setting. So that's going to be up to you. A lot of these are going to be kind of like play around with it, tweak it, save it, see how it looks, and then go from there. If you want to utilize a background image, you can do that. If you want to have an image, which will probably push this over to the left or right, where you can put it on the side you can do that as well. So we have the overline with the colors. We have some text too. And if you're ever curious about like, what does this text do or where does it go? Just put like example text. Okay. Then what you can do is just have it see what it says right here. So if you want to add a little bit more, that's where that example text is going to be. So just kind of removing that now. We have our font family and just you have to save it and then it'll redo it. Sometimes it does that. I've noticed where it'll show up and then still show up. So if I do publish the site, and then I just do reload. You'll notice it's gone. So just wanted to point that out. Sometimes it'll show up, sometimes it doesn't until you refresh it. So we have our headline here, the Marketing Island Newsletter. Looks clean, looks simple. I like it, let's stick with it. Once again, font family and font size. We also have a description where once again, this newsletter is all about dot, 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 and of course, you can put kind of like whatever you want there. So let's click publish and then we'll reload it and see how it looks. And there you go. So this newsletter is all about this is where like the little text is going to go that we just added in. So you can do that as well if you want, you know, up to you. I'm just going to remove it for now. It's kind of showing you what goes where. And so you'll notice that like it'll show it and then it'll stop showing it. I noticed it's a little wonky like that, but not a big deal. As long as it's not there, it's eventually not going to be there, as you can see. So. Let's scroll down a little bit more. That was our description. We have our sign up form. So I like the blue, looks good. I could probably change it to green maybe to match the brand a little bit better, but I think it looks good. So our button text is going to be subscribe and placeholder text. I talked about this in a previous tutorial video I did when it comes to Beehive and any type of subscribe. Notice how it says enter your primary email. Normally it's gonna say something like enter your email. What I recommend doing is putting either enter your favorite email, enter your best email, or, or enter your primary email. The reason for that is because when you say that, there's a higher chance that you're going to be getting a better email as opposed to like a spam one where maybe they'll open up one newsletter and then never look at it for four months. So let's just go with enter your best. And there we go. So like I said, it's a little behind there. So I wonder if I delete it, it'll probably like show it. There we go. As long as it shows up on the left, you're gonna be good. So if you do publish, it's gonna pretty much show. So we're good there, like we talked about. So underline, this is gonna be what's under here. You can add a little bit. No, I just put your privacy as guaranteed, kind of like a, a privacy thing, like in terms of the terms and conditions, you know, you sometimes see that, like we won't sell your information, whatever it's going to be. I just put something like that. You can always delete it if needed. Once again, we have our font family and the redirect, redirect link. Okay, if we wanna enable this, let's click on enable there. And of course, this is going to be say like if you have a home page, this is where they can click on it to go to there. But personally, you know, I'd rather just keep that off because the one thing I want them clicking on is obviously putting their email in and subscribing. So like that's the main section. Very clean, very simple. You know, the biggest thing, the changes here are going to be the colors. If you want to use a background color or an image, that's up to you. So we have our testimonial section. So this is going to be underneath it. And now you can't really see it because all the backgrounds are white, but like eventually there's gonna be a cutoff there. Like if I do it like black or a different color, you'll notice, but let's go with the show section. Okay, and now we have our background color and testimonials. So if you don't have any testimonials, you can of course add them. So let's do add testimonial just as an example. 
And there we go. I'm going to get a picture. I don't think it's 800 by 800. It's just of me, but let's see how it looks. There's me. Okay, very big. All right, James Canzanella, CEO of Marketing Island. All right, this is the best newsletter ever, but I might be a tad bit biased. Okay, clearly I'm not going to be using this. It's just a joke. Uh, I created it. So of course I'm going to have a good testimonial, but let's just do create. Okay, that's going to be there. Created uh, alignment left. And then we have some overlines, headlines, uh, cards. A lot of this, like I said, is pretty much just changing around the colors and so on and so forth. So let's save this and then we can see how it looks. All right, so if we scroll down, what people are saying, this is the best newsletter ever, but I might be a tad bit biased, okay? <laughs> James Canzanella, CEO of Marketing Island. So that looks pretty good. You know what? I just, as simple as this looks, I love the clean and simplicity of it. It's just, I think it looks beautiful in my opinion, but uh, that's just me. I know sometimes people want something more advanced. We have a featured posts section. If you don't have any posts yet, don't worry about it. You can always like come back and turn it on. Pretty self-explanatory. Show it, you know, which ones do you want to add, the alignment and so on and so forth. And of course, we have a FAQ section. As you can see, it's already on here. So what you can do is click this when it's actually on the page. So show section, once again, background color, text alignment. We have colors, we have headlines, and the most important part, let's get down to it right here. So this is going to be the FAQ at the bottom of it. These are going to be the questions that you ask. So let's do FAQ or add FAQ. All right. So how often will this newsletter be sent out? Either once or twice a week in the beginning. Eventually, I'll be sending out a little bit more frequently or a little more frequently. So let's do add. And what you can also do is just kind of move around, you know, probably want to do like the most important questions first. So like, who is this newsletter for? What are going to be some of the topics, you know, because right now it's kind of like, well, Marketing Island newsletter, if you're familiar with my YouTube channel, you'll probably have an idea of what it's about. But just in case someone was recommended or they stumbled upon it. And of course, we can do publish to site. Let's go over here and reload it. All right, there we are. And let's scroll down what people are saying. Of course, what I'm saying, who is this newsletter for? And of course, we have how often it'll come out. So overall, Pretty simple, pretty clean, pretty elegant. I love it. Not a whole lot going on here. There's one main action that they can take. It's signing up for your newsletter or nothing else. And I love that. Not a whole lot to get distracted by. You know, everything is above the fold right here. So even if they don't scroll down, not a big deal because what we want them to do is right here, front and center, right in front of their eyes. And I really like that about this. Very easy landing page builder to use. There's not a whole lot of like advanced functions, but I think it gives you what you're needed in terms of optimizing your landing page so that you can get a good amount of subscribers. And of course, you can send out the newsletter to them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, you know, if you want to test it out, I will have my free trial link and eventually there will be a coupon code. The details, once I get that, will be in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.